I'm very proud of our lung cancer screening program at Stanford. We're accredited by both the Lung Cancer Alliance and the American College of Radiology. At Stanford Hospital, we will direct our care to all cancer patients utilizing a multidisciplinary team approach. So in order to properly treat a cancer patient, many different fields of expertise need to intersect at the level of the patient. That's a group that combines pulmonologists like me, lung doctors, thoracic surgeons or lung surgeons, and then ultimately radiologists, radiation oncologists, and oncologists if need be. All these people need to work together to determine what is going to be the most efficient mode of care and what is going to be the most effective mode of care. And it's important that you have a truly expert multidisciplinary team taking care of these patients. We have to understand that lung cancer is the second most common cancer in men and women in the United States and the leading cause of cancer death. If discovered early, lung cancer can absolutely be cured. Lung cancer should no longer be considered a death sentence. Recognizing patients who may be at higher risk for lung cancer and screening them appropriately will hopefully result in more patients being diagnosed at an earlier, more curable stage. Early diagnosis is key. Only about 15% of patients are discovered at an early stage where we can really have a truly curative treatment option, which is why screening is so important. We have a whole array of new technologies for the treatment of lung cancer. Lung cancer has become a passion for oncologists because the dramatic changes in the paradigm in lung cancer over the past really even just two or three years has been dramatic. Early detection is critical, so we've learned that for people who are at high risk for cancer, that screening CAT scans done at appropriate intervals can detect early stage disease, and then that may achieve cure. If a patient has an early lung cancer, we first consider the surgical options. We may consider stereotactic radiotherapy, which at Stanford Hospital is given by way of CyberKnife. CyberKnife is an important part of our set of tools in the treatment of lung cancer. Specifically, what CyberKnife has been developed as is a, a way to treat patients who, uh, under other circumstances, would want to have their tumor surgically removed as an attempt at cure, but who, perhaps for other medical conditions they have, are not are considered to be suitable for surgery. With CyberKnife, we could pinpoint the treatment and maximize the effect to the tumor and minimize the effect to the surrounding lung tissue, thereby decreasing the toxicity of the side effects. And the results thus far with CyberKnife have been very encouraging with very successful cure rates. Over the last 10 years, things have changed almost weekly in oncology. It's a dramatic change today with almost a new drug every week coming out and approved. And there are thousands of other drugs in the pipeline. At our institution, we have these trials readily available and we always try to offer each patient a trial, whether it be a phase three trial, a phase two trial, or a TOGA trial. If you're on a registry trial like our TOGA trial, your doctor will be getting periodic updates of all new drugs that are being studied specific to your target. So that in three months, there may well be a targeting drug available for you that is looking to kill your cancer cells by going after the target on the cell's back, if you will. Today, I'm happy to say because of the standard of care change, we see people living on average three to four years beyond their diagnosis. I think at Stanford Hospital, we pride ourselves on a very high quality of medical care, utilizing state-of-the-art approaches to treat lung cancer. Healing Reimagined means to me a new standard in lung cancer care. Healing Reimagined means earlier diagnosis. It means better results. It means gentler surgery. And it should all be delivered in the most caring way that we would want our own family treated.